Alright. Alright, good morning everybody. It's a very cat-filled morning as always over here. And uh, it's actually going to be a really busy day today, so i got a lot of stuff on the plate. So i got to get prepped for the podcast this morning. Adam's going to be here in a little bit, so let's start off with that and let's get into this day. Ooh. A couple things first this morning. The necessaries to get me going for my day. Caffeine. And then uh, a little morning dab action to limber myself up. Oh, there you go, that's better. That's much better. Okay, so leaving for the island tomorrow and I got oh so much stuff that I gotta do. I basically gotta finish up my orders. I gotta finish some emails, get all my camera gear prepped, make sure all of the batteries are packed, get my RC stuff prepped, make sure all my RC batteries are packed, make sure all of my batteries on the whole are charged. And then I have to get, make sure I have the right cat supplies, make sure my cats are prepared for the weekend, get the podcast online, edit my vlogs, get in a workout. I'm sure there's gonna be more in there. So it's, it's gonna be a busy day. It's, it's gonna, gonna be a busy day. Why not start off with an unboxing? We got this tiny little package that came in yesterday and it's been killing me. I've been wanting to open this shit, so. Okay, well, let's see if this one works. I don't know if you guys remember before I got one of those little tiny cables to plug my drone in to the actual remote. The last one that I bought like wasn't an official cable so it would cut out and that's uh, how I almost lost my drone a couple times. So hopefully this one's good. Ooh, I'm liking this so far. And then my Joby Gorillapod, which is the main tripod that I always use for my vlog and I've been using for like the past year or so. It's finally uh, taking a bit of wear and tear. So I'm just thinking about possible replacements um, and just even other little possibilities because it still works great for lots of things. But when it comes to like getting real low flat to the ground and stuff, I shouldn't balls in the legs that are nice and loosey goosey now. So I figured I'd try this out. I'm a huge Manfrotto supporter already. So this is the Manfrotto, what the hell did they call this thing again? The Pixie Evo 2. So let's just get this thing open. I want to see this thing. Okay. So here you go. Look, this is the whole thing right here. So I'm going to do a full comprehensive review of this over the weekend and do a versus of this against the Joby Gorilla Pod that I've been using for a long time. So just super simple, folds out like that. Has a nice little switch on it over Shmia. That when you switch that, it changes the angle that these legs will go outwards as opposed to only coming out to about here at a 45 degree angle you do this and it becomes like super flat so that was why i was really interested in this one and it has just like a little knob on the side for tightening up the ball head on the top so it has a little thumb gear action to tighten up the little camera mount and then the other cool thing about this see these buttons on these little arm here you push that in and you get a little extension of however much you may need. So if you want to extend that out further and do some of the tilt to tilts for that vlog action, looks like that's actually gonna work pretty damn perfect. So pretty stoked on this thing already. It feels really good, feels really robust. So I can't wait to get this camera on it and uh, test it out. Designed in Italy. Molto bello. Ooh, liking that already. I just got this mounted on this like literally right now and uh, I am kind of really liking this. I got such long arms anyways, and this lens is so wide that when I go like this, like this is literally like a foot in front of me. So you go like that. Or if I had to do a little bit of this action, I can get quite a bit in. That's pretty damn sweet. Of course. Oh my God. Coco. Hey. So new boxes immediately for the cats. Like this almost even feels like it's too long. Like that's hilarious. Yeah, like this isn't even fully extended. This is just like on the little tilt action and uh, I actually really like that so far. So interested to give this a full test over the next uh, few days and see whether or not this becomes my main tripod for vlogging. See, that's still where the Joby wins. It's the height that I can put it at normally. Hey buddy. Uh, you're so weird that you like that. Uh, just wrapped up another Pam Cash. Oh, me and this 
guy. Oh, I'm feeling pretty lazy. The yawns oh, wow. are. Oh, the yawns are a regular. This fucking real right now. They're they're all of the real, my friend. Just got this fucking new little little tripod action. Trying this bad boy out. It's really good. Whoa, it's fucking lunchtime, brother. I hear that. I haven't eaten yet. I st I've been yeah, on this. Yeah. I've been doing my intermittent fasting and uh, found this app that's like really. It's just super basic. It's literally like click fucking timer, start the timer, and then logs how long I've been fasting. And then like send me a reminder when it's a good fasting. You don't need to so like you eat. I, 10 hours in a day. Nine hours. Just in yeah, yeah. So I fast for 16, ideally. 13 to 16 is like good idea. Yeah. To get you into ketosis or whatever. I don't know. I just know that fasting makes me feel better. Like mm. straight up. Eat how I normally would eat and then fucking because I usually would eat too much anyways. <laughs> so if I eat how I normally eat and then if it's in a confined space, then it's like a normal amount. But it's, it's fucking... Um, it's funny because like I, I know what Hugh Jackman was talking about in this one interview where like all of a sudden he'll be like, oh fuck, it's nine o'clock. I've got like an hour left to eat. Oh, I haven't right. eaten. So I was like, uh, <laughs> like sitting there like chowing down my food. Like just like, I had that happen the other night. It was like fucking like 9.20 and I'm like, I stopped eating at 10. So I was just like fucking bowing down my rice and beef. It was just like, <laughs> get in me. <laughs> Okay, so apparently I got a little piece of mail down in the box, so let's go grab that. Alright, a little bit of mail action. Ooh, shit. Some new coils for my G-Pen. Because my last G Pen Micro, I actually ran through the washing machine and yeah, it doesn't work anymore. So, dual. Let's go grab a battery and see if this works. Here's that old mother, which still lights up, so let's find out if this works. Oh, they're lighting up. Alright, well, that shit lit up, so I'm going to have to get some schlorb in there. Not two jabs. All right, I gotta get this place set back up to normal and uh, I think it's time to get some lunch. So I didn't think that this little cable was actually gonna work for what I wanted it to do, but it seems to be working so far as being able to connect it without Wi-Fi and stuff. So let's hope this shit doesn't disconnect when I'm flying it <laughs> on the boat. So we'll have to go to a proper test at this some point here, but for now, I still gotta get other shit to sit back up. So onwards with the day. Just trying to get everything done here. Time's running away from me. <music> Said it was supposed to rain today, but this is uh, a much better, much better option. I know I'm supposed to be eating healthy, but I'm in way too much of a rush today. So, dollar pizza it is. Alright, so just been cleaning up and organizing things around the place, but uh, man, I really want to go get me a green smoothie. So, let's go get a green smoothie. And I'm just in the middle of getting all of my camera gear and shit packed. So. So, just a few things. 
Um, well, more than a few things, but mm, gotta be prepared, right? Yo, seriously. I was gone for like 10 minutes. Getting back to sleeping. Being lazy. Jeez, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs>